So good morning, we're looking at the Sydney Cup for 2013. This is at Randwick on the 27th of April. And we're giving the Winform ratings top five for this. As you can see, it's worth half a million dollars. And the track is expected to be good. It's a Group 1 race. Now, the difficulty I have here is uh, not necessarily do we know that all of these horses can handle 3,200 metres. Malaki Day has finally come back into some sort of form and rates as a $4.30 chance, but the best price you can get at the moment is $4.20. So if it's not going to be a surprise, you think to yourself, well, why would you back it? Because it's um, had some renowned failures and you're just hoping that it performs at its best. 3,200 metres is probably okay for it. Julianus, it's been going well. Has a very poor performance on wet tracks. As you can see, it's level one on a wet track. That's why the small lowercase w, that indicates that it's um, placed on a wet track but not one on one. So um, there's a mystery about its last performance. Maybe the track conditions didn't suit it. Maybe it needs a hard and firm. It's rated $5.10, uh, 5, 5.1, and the current price about it is $10. So that's a little bit, a little bit. Uh, better perhaps. Kalini, it's the three dollar favourite and its performance in the Melbourne Cup last year was excellent. Just didn't quite get there in the end but uh, certainly gave it a, uh, a good shake and uh, maybe can do so again tomorrow. Rated seven dollars fifty. Then you've got Rod Blood Brother rated nine dollars sixty and available at twelve. And Tremec, which has been doing really well, as you can see four wins out of its last five starts. It's at $8.50. Now, do I really want to bet in this race? I can tell you honestly, I don't think that I do. There's no great amount of money to be uh, won on this race. Um, Dutch betting is going to be extremely tight. And so maybe even if you look at the multiples, you can't even go into that because there are going to be horses that are ranked well below these that put in that one good run because they've never been at 3,200 metres and all of a sudden you find out that that's their best distance. So, sorry about this. Why does that come up? We um, will be leaving the race alone pretty much, except you've got to include it if you're taking a quaddy or something like that. But no great value, as you can see. And this is an example of a race you can watch and uh, take an interest in it, but uh, not, a, uh, not necessarily a financial interest. Having said that, we're probably going to get the winner in this group. I've got little doubt. So, the latest information, have a look at www.horseracingaustralia.info and just check what I say on the diary. Maybe I'll have something different there. Good luck. Thank you.